my name is Ross Campbell and I love the minor pentatonic scale. It is the best and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite ways to navigate slash shred with this awesome scale. Today's video sponsor is Neural DSP and I'm using their brand new Archetype Petrucci plugin for all of the tones that you hear in this video. And later on, I'm going to be walking you through my presets, which you can download for free via the link in the description box. So there are five positions of the minor pentatonic scale, right? And one of my favorite ways to shred my way through this scale is to ascend through those five positions on just two strings at a time, like for example, the high E and B strings. So you're gonna pick a position of the scale to start in. And in that example that you just heard, I started in position four. But you're only gonna play the notes on the top two strings in that position. So on the high E and B strings, and we're gonna descend the scale using this rhythm. To develop that, we're going to apply the same descending sequence and rhythm to the other positions of the minor pentatonic scale, like so. Now, notice that when I change position each time there, I am sliding into the highest note in the following position. And I just do that because I think it sounds more slick to play the transitions that way rather than just ascending without adding in those slides. I much prefer it with those slides added in. In that example that you heard me play over the backing track, I started in position four, I moved up to position five, then one, then two, three, four, an octave higher, and I ended on a high C root note. But to make that a bit more creative, what you could do is start in a position of your choice, then jump up two positions, then down one, then up two, down one, so on and so forth, which would sound like this. In that example, I started in position four, then jumped up to position one, then down to five, then up to position two, then down to one, up to position three, so on and so forth. The pattern is start in one position, move up to down one, up to down one, up to so on and so forth. <laughs> In both examples, I have been alternate picking the notes, but if your alternate picking isn't quite up to scratch yet, what you could do is watch this video, which I'll put on screen somewhere, about how to build speed on guitar and make that part of your daily practice routine. But in the meantime, you could also try playing these licks by just picking the first note and then using hammer-ons and pull-offs to play the rest, which would look and sound like this. Moving on to the second way that I like to navigate and shred with the minor pentatonic scale. This is something that I picked up from watching Phil X. Now, Phil X is an absolute monster when it comes to pentatonic licks and just, well, sick guitar playing in general. We're still playing descending pentatonic sequences that move through the positions one at a time on just two strings at a time. But we're gonna play groups of five notes as opposed to four this time. And to do that, we're gonna have to borrow a note from a position that's higher than the one that we're currently positioned in. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So 
So what do I mean by borrowing a note from a higher position? Well, let's say you start out working out of position four. On the top two strings, that only gives you four notes to play with, right? One, two, three, four. What Phil X will often do, however, is he will borrow a note from the next highest position, start the phrase with that highest note, and then he's able to play a group of five. One, two, three, four, five. So there, you're borrowing a note from position five while whilst basing yourself primarily out of position four. One, two, three, four, five. And then to move that up the fretboard, you just repeat the same thing. So if I'm moving up to mostly base myself at position five, then to play a group of five, I want to borrow the highest note in position one, which is the next highest position. One, two, three, four, five. And when you move up again, basing yourself out of position one, you're gonna borrow a note from the next highest position, position two to play another group of five, so on and so forth. Now, these are called odd note groupings and odd note groupings are a fantastic way of adding some, let's say, unpredictability to your solos. And on that note, why don't we combine the Phil X approach with the very first approach that we looked at in this video? So here's what that might sound like. So I started out there with groups of four notes at a time in positions four and five, and then I added in the Phil X groups of five to catch you off guard. The listener probably wouldn't expect to hear that. It is quite unpredictable sounding, and that's not just because we're switching from groups of four notes to groups of five, but also because we're switching up the rhythms used and placing accents on different notes. If you enjoy playing licks like these, you enjoy playing rock and even metal, but you don't have a convenient way of getting studio quality lead tones to play those styles with, you might be interested to hear about today's video sponsor, Neural DSP. They've partnered up with John Petrucci to release the latest addition to their incredible Archetype series of plugins. Archetype Petrucci is what I've been using for all of the tones that you've heard in this video, so I'm gonna take you through its main features now and also let you hear some of the presets that I've created for use in this video. And you can download a free trial of the plugin by clicking on the link in the description box beneath the video. This plugin is the most feature-packed one that Neural have released so far. You've got four different amp models, acoustic, clean, rhythm, and lead, and these can be paired with John's personal cab with six different options for mics, hundreds of IRs made by John's engineering team. You also have the ability to load in custom IRs and a feature of the cab section of the plugin that I really love that they've included in this is the option to add in room mics with settings for distance and level. In terms of effects, there's really quite a lot. For pre-effects, you have wah, compression, overdrive, a phaser slash vibe, chorus with single and triple modulated lines, and a flanger. In the post-effects section, you've got stereo chorus, stereo delay, and reverb, and as with all neural plugins, the reverb algorithms are to die for. If that wasn't enough, there's also a nine band EQ, a volume expression pedal, and some brand new features for neural plugins, including a global transpose control, allowing you to pitch your instrument up and down, as well as a doubler control, which allows you to essentially dial in a nice stereo spread, almost making it sound like you are double tracking your guitar in real time. Oh, and there's also a tool that's very handy for practice, and that is an onboard metronome. The rhythm part for the intro track in this video was recorded using my phased clean preset which uses the clean amp head, phaser of course, some compression and reverb and I'm also using the doubler for some stereo spread. Ross 
Bleed 1 is the preset that I've created for all of the high gain stuff that I've played in this video. And with that preset, I'm using the lead amp head and on the cab, I'm using ribbon and condenser mics along with a couple of room mics. For pre-effects, I'm using the phaser and for post effects, I am using the stereo delay and some reverb and I'm using the doubler again for some you know, stereo spread. I should also point out that I'm using the noise gate on this preset, which comes in very handy for me as someone who's playing a vintage style strat. It uh, definitely helps to tame the hiss that you would normally hear if you were to play a guitar like this with pickups like this through a high gain amp. Go and show Neural some love by downloading a free trial of Archetype Petrucci linked in the description box beneath the video. They've shown a lot of support to my channel over the past year or so and I absolutely love using their plugins. They just seem to be going from strength to strength these days. So yeah, thanks again Neural and let's get back to the lesson. The final example that I'm going to show you, another way that I like to shred with the minor pentatonic scale is actually how I opened that intro solo. Let's take another listen to that. In this example, I'm making my way through the scale on three strings at a time, the high E, B, and G strings. Now I start in position one, I'm gonna slide into the highest note in that position on the G string and then ascend the scale until I reach the root note using this rhythm. Then I'm gonna pick the highest note on the high E string in that position one and slide up into position two and then descend like so. And then starting on the highest note in that new position, position two, I'm gonna pick that note and slide up into position three and then the pattern repeats. You're gonna ascend and then pick the highest note on the high E string and then descend, so on and so forth. So you get something that sounds like this. Now for the portions where I'm ascending the scale positions, I'm alternate picking, but when I descend those scale positions, I just pick the first note, the highest note, the one that we slide up into, and then I'm just using hammer-ons and pull-offs to descend like so. And I was just lifting my picking hand there to show you that I'm not actually picking those notes. That's not something that I would do on stage. So to recap on everything that we've gone over in this video, the first approach that we looked at was this. Which you could switch up by moving up two positions at a time, then down one, then up two, which went like this. Then we had the fill X groups of five. And we also combined that with the very first approach, which sounded like this. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.